Our other big story tonight, a woman has died after troopers say she drove her Tesla into the opposite lanes of traffic yesterday evening in Paradise Valley, striking another vehicle. The other driver is recovering from injuries, but the woman's car, which was a Tesla, caught on fire. Team 12's Colleen Sikora spoke with fire crews who say that electric vehicle fires can be especially complicated to fight. On any given call, there are more and more of these electric vehicles on the road. The likelihood first responders will find an electric vehicle on the streets of Phoenix is going up. So we have to be more cognizant of if it's a hybrid, if it's an electric vehicle, how we approach it. Monday night in Paradise Valley, a Tesla caught fire after a woman crashed into the other lanes of traffic. She died at the hospital. Another driver was injured. But it's the fire itself. They burn extremely hot. Phoenix Fire Captain Evan Gamage says takes different tactics. We have to be more careful. We have to be more calculated. Not only the electrical systems running throughout the car that impact how firefighters cut or get into the car, but the lithium ion batteries that make a fire burn hotter and longer. That's been seen at one warehouse in Phoenix that's caught fire a couple times in the last few years. That business repairs electric vehicles and stores a lot of those batteries. We have to drown the batteries until the battery core itself cools. Captain Gamage says the cars being parked inside garages with their charging station can also impact house fires too. That can definitely feed the fire and obviously burn hot and burn long. Recommending owners get vehicles serviced on time. When you get your, your vehicle serviced, make sure that the technician is certified and, and knowledgeable in electric vehicles. But if fire happens, Gamage says it's special training and some guidance from the manufacturers that helps first responders keeps drivers and firefighters as safe as possible. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.